Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem F2-8 from R.C. Hibbeler Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant force. Now to solve this problem, first of all, we have to resolve each of the forces into their components. For the 300 Newton force, we don't have to resolve it because it has a single component which is directed along the x-axis. For the 400 Newton force, we have a one vertical component and one horizontal component. Similarly, for this 250 Newton force, we have a horizontal component and the vertical component. Let's label them. If this angle is 30 degrees, then that angle has to be 60 degrees because x axis and the y axis are perpendicular to each other. So the horizontal component is 400 sin 60, and the horizontal component is 400 cos 60. For the 250 Newton force, we have to consider this 3, 4, 5 triangle. So the horizontal component of the 250 Newton force is 250 into the ratio of adjacent, which is 4, over the hypotenuse. And the vertical component is 250 into the ratio of opposite, which is 3, over the hypotenuse, which is 5. So now we have resolved all the forces into their components. So now we can find the horizontal and the vertical components of the resultant force. So for FRX, the horizontal component of the resultant force, I'm considering the right hand side as positive and it is equals to summation of the forces in X direction. So we have 400 sine 60, plus this 300 Newton force and we have the horizontal component of the 250 Newton force but since it is acting in the opposite direction it is acting towards the left so we would take it as negative because we have considered the right hand side as positive so negative 250 into 4 upon 5 so upon simplifications frx is equals to 346.41 plus 300 minus 200. So FRX becomes 446.41 Newtons and it is acting towards the right hand side direction. Now we have to do the same for the vertical component of the resultant force. So we have FRY. I'm considering up direction as positive. It's equals to summation of the forces in y direction equals to 400 cos 60 plus the vertical component of the 250 Newton force, so 250 into 3 upon 5. So upon simplifications, we have FRY is equals to 200 plus 150. So FRY becomes 350 Newtons. And it is acting in a vertically upwards direction. So now for the magnitude of the resultant force, we can use the Pythagoras theorem. So we have the square root of FRx squared plus FRy squared. So if I substitute the values, I would have square root 
of 446.41 square plus 350 square. So FR comes out to be 567.3 newtons. This is our first answer. Now for the direction or direction of the resultant force. If I draw the x and y axis, let's say this is the positive x axis, this is the positive y axis, this is the negative x axis and this is the negative y axis. The horizontal component of the resultant force is directed towards the right and the vertical component of the resultant force is directed in the upwards direction. So by the head to tail rule of vector addition, this is the FRY and the resultant can be drawn from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector. Let's label them. This right here is the resultant force FR, this is FRY, and this is FRX. Let's call this angle theta. The angle measured counterclockwise from the positive x axis. So for theta, we can use the ratio of 10 theta is equals to opposite, which is FRY, over the adjacent, which is FRX, and we just have to use their magnitudes. From here, theta is equals to 10 inverse of FRY, which is 350 newtons, over the FRX, which is 446.41. So, upon simplification, theta comes out to be 38.1 degrees measured. Counterclockwise from positive x axis. This is our second answer. So, this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.